Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things. Today I bring you the blog of the Philadelphia Marathon 2022. I ran this marathon with my brother. The intent was to just have fun with it. We got freezing temperatures, winds of like 20 miles per hour. So it was challenging to run this marathon. Stick around till the end. I will give you a rundown of what happened and I will show you the medal. very 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 cold i'm gonna show you guys in a minute but it's very very cold we are wearing basically all the clothes that we can discard of that we don't mind throwing away yeah people are returning runners let's hear it from you Woo! i am a returning let's runner. hear it from the first time participants we use the bathroom you and we're going to try and find the ground. For the AACR Philadelphia Marathon, this is green. This make is sure better. you be guides, you be shirtless, you be helpful hands to these. Help them enjoy the day's course. Training is concerned. I was speaking to Alephine earlier. She had mentioned that you know, when you when you reach a crescendo as far as training, unbelievable job that Kathleen Titus, our race director, and her staff do year over year to market this event has grown in stature, has grown in size. You were a part of this event many times. In fact, you posted on Twitter the other day, uh, 1981. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to. City on the streets of brotherly love. We know that you're going to crush it out there. Good luck, my friends. We can't wait to see you at the finish line. Where did we go? I can't move my feet. We also have one at this way. Vamos dentro del plan, ¿eh?
here. We've got water in the red cups, alcohol, all the in here because it's sunny it's warmer actually even though we're high we're going down that's the the zoo is right here. Come on, great job. You're gonna be on YouTube! Awesome!
drive. I was trying to film the wind, but it stopped right when I connected the camera. <laughs> oh my god, the wind is when it blows, it's like super strong. Everyone here is so proud of you. Thank you. You look at this video, you can be like, oh my god, who's this guy? It doesn't matter who I am, because it matters who you are, and that you are finished marathon. They're champions in their own right, but I'm sure they want to know who are the champions, the top five finishers in each category in today's event. Well, on that note, Carrie Allen, who's our fifth place female representing Washington, D.C., ran a time of 239.49, also earned herself $1,500 in the meantime. Venga, 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 venga. Representing Grand Prairie, Texas, had a fourth place time of 233. 53. She earned herself $2,500. Fatu Jafar from Bronx, New York, ran two thirty-three over four, and also became $5,000 richer today with her third place finish. Becky Krifchik from Cambridge, Massachusetts, ran two thirty-one forty-one. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why not?
that was the vlog of the Philadelphia Marathon 2022. We didn't stick around a lot at the end because as you could see in those last shots, it was very, very cold. The orange juice was completely frozen. It was like a rock. You could have thrown it at someone and knocked them down. The wind was certainly very challenging and when you finish running really you have to cover yourself and we wanted to get to the car as quickly as possible so the winds were very strong and the finish line is on this open space it's in Ekins oval it's a pretty big area and there's trees but it, they're on the side so the wind was just like hauling through that whole section of the city so we really wanted to get to the car as quickly as possible and i didn't film anything after that however i'm going to show you the meadow this is it it's so amazingly pretty you can actually engrave it in the back We were walking through the city and you could tell where the runners were because everybody was like doing that noise. So it was very, very cool. So it actually stays like this. You could put it on your desk just like this. It's such a cool metal, you guys. It's like so, so pretty. But now let's talk about what happened. So it was really cold at the very beginning. So we were wearing um, extra clothing. I had a um, puffy coat that I was planning on giving away to charity anyway. Um, and then I had one for my brother. It didn't really zip. It was too small for him, but I gave it to him and he was wearing that. And then we just threw it out, threw it away to the side right before the marathon started. So as we were moving to our corrals, that's when we actually threw it off. We wore them till the very very last minute as, as, you know as, for as long as we could because it was very cold so i would have wanted i should have worn another pair of socks or thicker socks because my toes were like i could not feel them when i started running i could not feel my toes so i was running and i was not even feeling that dorsiflexion because all my toes were like basically I couldn't feel them. I didn't have toes. Like, that's the reality of it. I could not. I didn't know if I was running properly or not. Uh, but then after like the second mile, everything starts like you get in the mojo and you're fine. Um, for my brother, it was tough. The temperatures, he's not used to these temperatures at all. He flew from Spain to run the marathon with me and, um, and it was tough. For him, it was very, very tough. So we had kind of agreed he was going to pace. He was going to keep up the pace. And I really didn't make, which I should have. I should have tried to find out what the pace was in miles. But I was just confident that he was going to keep the pace. And he said like 710, 715 in kilometers, which I know generally is like an 11 15 something like that but he's he had two watches and both of them when we we're going through the center city of philadelphia they both lost connection and mine was still working so i said okay i'll just keep the pace when i was keeping the pace for both of us we were i was going faster again because in my mind the general sense was like okay this is like an 11 05 11 10 so we did that for a long long stretch and i think we were going too fast uh for him, for what he wanted to do and what he was prepared to do the day of the marathon. So um, at mile 17, as we are about to hit Kelly Drive, which is the final stretch, the final eight miles, nine miles of the race are on Kelly Drive, which is along the Delaware River. When we were there, there's a portion in the video where things started getting tough. And I knew they were getting tough because my brother said, stop pacing, I'll keep the pace. And then we were going by feel and he was going very slow, like, I was walking and I kind of pulled back so that he couldn't see me. I was walking as fast as he was running. So I could tell that things were not right. So at one point I'm like, hey, are you okay? And he's like, I could tell he wasn't okay because he was seeing through me. Like he was looking at me, but seeing through me and he was pale. And I got super scared. He was like, no, I'm not doing well. And I'm like, did you hit the wall? Like, what do you feel? Like, tell me, does anything hurt? Like, he was like, I'm just like, I can't keep going. I'm so tired. So I'm like, well, do you want to stop? And he's like, I can't stop. If I stop, if I stop um, running, I'm not going to be able to keep going. So then I told him, well, we are going so, so slow that you're doing the running motion, but we're really not running. We're going at like a walking speed. So why don't we just walk for a little bit? He insisted he wanted to keep on running. So he's, you know, running. And I'm next to him, and at one point I see him like doing this wiggly thing, and I grab them, and I'm like, okay, let's just step to the side and decide what we're gonna do. So at that point, I'm like, okay, we're not finishing. Mile 17 and a half, I think it was. I'm like, we're not finishing this marathon, which is fine. We've done great till now. So in my mind, it was like, okay, whatever it happens, happened. Let's get him help. So when we are sitting to the side, he's like. I'm just not doing well. I'm like, I'm like, but what are you? Are you hot? Are you cold? What, what, like, talk to me. 
And he's like, I'm just super tired. Like, I, I'm so tired. Like, so I told him, okay, do you want me to call medical services? And he's like, no, 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 no. I, I'm going to continue. I'm going to keep going. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. Let's walk to the next water station. Let's get you Gatorade. If your stomach is feeling fine, which it was, just drink as much Gatorade as you can and see if the color comes back to your face and you feel better. And then we can keep going. Luckily, the water station wasn't too far. So we got Gatorade there. He drank Gatorade. Um, there was... I believe there was a goo, like a gel station there, or I gave him a gel or he had another gel. I don't remember correctly this because it's a little bit of a blur. I was very nervous. So uh, he drank the Gatorade and he started feeling better. So he was like, well, okay, let's just walk till the finish. And I'm thinking, I don't think we can walk till the finish because in my mind, we still had like eight miles left. And I was like, we can't walk eight miles. That's like an insane amount of miles to walk. It's just insane because... Number one, it was so cold in the wind and we didn't have enough clothes to walk a marathon. We had enough clothes to run a marathon, but not to walk a marathon. So I didn't say anything because I didn't want him to worry anymore. So I, we kept walking and we walked for a good more than a half a mile. And then at that point, I was getting very close. So I told him, um, why don't we just try run walking? We can run a minute and walk a minute and just, you know, see if you feel better. And just try and, you know, make this go a little bit faster because we were walking but we were not power walking we were walking slow so he's like okay let's try it so i was keeping track of time and then we started running a minute and when we start running that minute he's cramping in one leg he's like oh no no i can't go i can't go i like cramping so i was like okay let's just call it a day why are we gonna keep going if it's really really cold because like we could like really get hypothermia like they were saying through the speakers at the start, be careful with hypothermia because it's going to be a thing today. So we go to the side. I'm like, do you want to stretch? Do you want to call it quits? Like, what are we doing? You, It's your call. Whatever you decide to do, we do. So he's like, okay, let's, let me just stretch a little bit. Maybe it'll go away. So he was, he managed to, like, we were stopped there maybe for three or four minutes. And then he said, okay, I can run again. So then after that, I don't know what happened. There's a miracle. He pushed through beautifully. I, I mean, it was incredible because after that we did a minute running, a minute walking, pretty much till almost the end. And then towards the end, we walked a little bit more. Um, we walked a long stretch towards the, the end. I, there was a, couple, a mile and a half there, maybe at like mile 22, 23. I was just concentrated on distracting him. So I was singing my songs in my playlist. I offered him my, head, my headphones. I said, do you want to get my headphones? And just maybe the music will distract you. And he was like, no, 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 no. I just want to concentrate on finishing. But I was singing out loud and just pointing out people doing things on the sides. The spectators were phenomenal. With how cold it was, I didn't think there was going to be anybody out there. And there were so many people. I mean, it was not like in 2018, it wasn't as cold when I ran it and there were a lot more people. But the spectators this year, this time around, they were so loud. It looked like there were thousands of people. It was very cool to see the people out there and um, just smiling and saying runners go go so then finally we got to the end and um we could not see the finish line because it's kind of on a downhill a little bit um which it used to be they changed the course a little bit so it used to be right next to the museum of art which is on the uphill and you see it but now it's like toward the end so you don't see it till you're almost there um which was mentally was tough but then we got there and we crossed the finish line and um yeah Five hours, 37, not what we wanted to do. We really wanted to do like a 505, 510. It's all good, you guys. We ran it together. I am really glad that I ran with my brother. Obviously, I was not going to leave him there on his own because he would have stuck with me as well. So we stuck together. Um, we're glad we did it. We're very happy we crossed that finish line together. And yeah, and I wanted to say thank you as well to all the people who left me messages in Race Joy. Not always I knew who was the person leaving the message. I don't know why. I'm going to go inside the app and check. And so I can't thank you uh, personally because I don't know who left what. There's a couple of people who actually said their names on the message and then I know. Uh, but I don't know everybody. There were so many messages. They were coming, especially towards the end, fast and furious. Um, so if I haven't said thank you directly to you, I'm sorry, it's because I don't know that it was you who left the message, but I know that there were a lot of messages. So, um, thank you so very much for that. It meant a lot to me hearing, you know, people leaving messages and, and just encouraging us to finish, uh, especially because it was tough. It was tough conditions. Congrats to all the runners. And again, thank you to the volunteers that were out there with all their clothes probably all the clothes they owned because it was so freezing cold guys it was like feels of 15 fahrenheit at the end 
I mean, I think that's, you know, we were pretty tough. So I'm really proud of my brother. I'm proud of myself for just, we kept on going. We got it done. So if you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel here. And if you want to watch more videos, you can click here or here. Run fearless, you guys. Thank you.